tired, but at the same time uh, looking forward to, uh, to the home stretch, to the last few days. We're probably here all night today. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to be on a holding pattern until probably around midday. Um, and it's all going to start again. <laughs> Firstly, we are, we are speaking on behalf of sovereign states. So you, you sometimes feel the weight on your shoulders of, you know, however many people, millions of people you represent. Mm -hmm. Secondly, climate change is, is, um, is the greatest challenge that humanity faces right now. It is, it is a big responsibility and I don't think negotiators take it lightly. I don't think um, anybody would join this process just because it was a job. No, mostly it's, it's, it's the coordination exercise. I think that we have a, a, a dedicated um, group of professionals, um, some of which are far more experienced than I am. They have been around for a long time. <clears throat> the challenge is in, in, in ensuring that we are coordinating, speaking with one message, with one voice, um, and also that, that, that we are you know, mutually supporting each other. Um, unfortunately, in the LDCs, we do have members whose membership cuts across other negotiating blocks, um, so that all of that needs to be reconciled. Also, as of this evening, negotiations are meant to be at the ministerial level. And we don't have many ministers um, around um, to be the spokesperson for the uh, for the group. So that's um, that's a bit challenging as well. We are definitely at a disadvantage when uh, there are multiple meetings, 30 meetings happening at the same time. It's, it just multiplies coordination activities by 30. It's difficult. Um, today we do have a few ministers um, and the challenge is just to ensure that these ministers are properly briefed, that we have passed on the baton properly um, so that they can carry the work forward because as of now it, is, it has become very, pop, very political. No, definitely not. No, I don't think that is something that one gets um, in any call. It's just, uh, it's either because of logistics or because of negotiations, but you, one never gets enough sleep. You know, I remember yesterday I was um, cautioning people already, you know, um, let's go home, nothing's going to happen, tomorrow is going to be the big day, let's try to, you know, um, have a, a, a good night's sleep. But we know that we're not going to finish tomorrow. Um, the presidency has promised a new text. So we know that we have asked for it to be available around the same time that this one was. Um, so it was around 3 p.m., right? And um, we're just going to start negotiating around you know, midnight, one in the morning. So we can expect the same tomorrow, I think.